going on everybody? This is Jen catching you on DTWJ representing NJ all day and I just wanted to go ahead and do a video response to none other than my friend Tad Steege. I have not seen a video from you in a long time uh, mainly because I haven't had access to the internet from home in uh, quite a while about I would say like five or six months. Uh, it's actually been pretty crazy here. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, respond to your video by, first off, by saying um, good job at executing a good message and delivering it succinctly. You not only covered all points of it, added your opinion to it, which is what I love about you, is the fact that, you know, you, you're unapologetic, okay? You speak freely, which is good, because that's what actually creates real discussion without saying face. And I think that's uh, one of the things... Um, that society also needs um, <clears throat> without, you know, turning into a bunch of animals, of course, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, I run into problems like this all the time when I go to ShopRite and I'm doing my food shopping. Um, I would try to um, go around a person, you know, even though they're exactly like at a spot where I'm trying to look for something, I'll still go around them anyway, instead of like stopping right there short in front of them and waiting, because I know that that makes them feel awkward and it's like they'd want to turn around and look at you like, really, bitch? Um, <laughs> which is understandable. That's something that I would do. I'd be like, really? Seriously? You want me to rush for you? Because that's not going to happen. You know, I believe in being patient and taking my time as well. Um, especially when I'm out shopping, because I understand that it's going to be crowded. Um, everybody also has places to go. So the best way that I could go about it is just to be patient and cool and calm about it. You know, instead of, you know, catching an attitude or, you know, huffing or making people feel awkward just because they're taking their time, which they should when they shop. I mean, if uh, people haven't realized which they should at this point, consumers have become a hell of a lot more aware about the things that they buy, okay? When you pick up a plastic object, you think to yourself, is this BPA free? When you pick up a food item, you wanna ask yourself, is this GMO free? And if it doesn't necessarily say that on the package, I have to look at the contents of this package to make sure that it is not a GMO food, okay? People are going to take their time while they're shopping. Okay, what if they have, uh, say, a family member who is diabetic? Okay, you want to get products that are low in sodium, low in fat, things like that, things of that nature. Um, you know, low in sugar content. Okay, you, you have a family that you take care of, which obviously you're shopping for. Um, so with all of those potential things in mind while you are shopping, you're going to take your time. And people need to start preparing themselves for that, okay? People are going to take their time shopping, okay? And it is not to piss you off, okay? It is not so that we get your attitude up, okay? It's not because we want to see you standing there huffing and puffing and blowing your top out. We don't care about that. In fact, I would say go get a therapist for that shit. <laughs> That's just me, because... Um, all right, I'm not selfish, but I have a very, very low tolerance for self-absorbed people and people who are incredibly arrogant. I cannot stand that, and I will not put up with it. I am sorry, okay? I'm a nice person, but I am not a doormat. I'm not going to put up with that crap, all right? So obviously, I'm going to take it upon myself to be patient, okay? And going back to the example that I was talking about before I went off on my little tangent, like I always do, um, I would just go around the person, kind of quote-unquote park my cart, and just look at other stuff, because, well, hey, maybe I need that too, and I don't know, right? So I'm going to take my time, and I'm going to look at that stuff while that other person is taking his or her time, looking at that area that I desperately need to get to, but I'm going to wait anyway. It's all good, because consumers are more aware of what they're shopping for. Obviously, they're going to take their time. And once that person finally goes, then I can back my cart up into that spot and go ahead and look at what I got to look at, pick up what I got to pick up, and then make, you know, just go on my merry little way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just 
make off like a bandit, so to speak. Like, ah, you know, I, I, I picked up the right item. I just made off like a bandit. I'm awesome. I'm doing, I'm doing, you know, a kick-ass job at shopping. Yay me. Right? Okay, so I stuff that thing in my cart, and then I just continue on. And uh, it, it, it kind of, it's, it's a little bit difficult because sometimes with um, the way certain stores set up their aisles, <clears throat> They're not just satisfied with things being in the aisles and on the shelves like they should be so that people can actually move around and be mobile. No, 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 no. They're not satisfied with that. They have to break out this like pop top off box or whatever you call those freaking things, right? Something that stands as tall as like five, six feet and is like in incredibly thick. So it goes right into the aisle. So, okay, how are you going to pass the other person who's trying to pass in that aisle with that obstacle? Obviously, what I would do is I would, I would back up my cart. I would stop my cart first to check if somebody's coming. If I see someone coming, I back up my cart, and I would do that. This one time that I did, though, kind of pissed me off, okay, because I'm a really patient person. I think of myself to be, you know, considerate and caring, okay? So the one time that I actually stopped my cart and I backed it up, you know, a little bit slowly so I don't hit anything, I don't knock stuff over, I don't knock it to someone else. It's like I'm in this encumbered spot already as it is, and I'm kindly and slowly backing my cart up, only to have this, hmm, this bitch, okay, just like go around, Okay, cool, pass like a ship, no problem. But she had to do that thing, okay? She had to do that. <sighs> really? I didn't have to go out of my way to do that, okay? I could have made a real big stink about that. I could have kept my cart exactly where I had it, not backed it up, called for somebody to show up to the aisle so that they could remove these freaking obstacles that they felt like putting up, make a big stink about that, and then make a big stink about this rude customer that I'm dealing with while I'm trying to shop. You know, I, I, I could be a jerk too, but I don't do it. Because number one, it's a waste of time. Okay. Secondly, it, it's, it's not a good, it's not a good way to be. It's, um, personally, it's not how I want to model what a civil society is today. And, um, we're already dealing with a lot of tension, a lot of stress, just when we're shopping, because we've become so much more conscientious. So the least that we can do is be more careful, be more uh, considerate, caring, you know, and not go with all this huffing and puffing and blowing your top off, because it looks really cute on you, but it would look really freaking adorable on me if you know what I mean. And that is not something that I want to do. It's not the kind of place that I want to go because that's not the kind of person that I want to be. Anyway, Tats Deej, I've run my mouth long enough in response to your video. Um, great video, by the way. No, you don't sound like an idiot, so stop that. Ugh, I love you, buddy. Good video. And, um, I'm posting this on your wall on Facebook, so I know that you'll see it since uh, YouTube doesn't allow us to do response videos. I'll check you out later. Everybody, thank you for watching. This has been Jen catching you on DTWJ, keeping it real as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.